testing keyboard products so you don't have to, part 2. This is cleaning gel. It smells weird, it tastes even weirder. But can it clean a keyboard? Now I've seen many people use this wrongly where they just take the gel and put it on top of the keyboard. What I personally did was to take off the keycaps first and then use the cleaning gel. That way you can get into the small crevices that the keyboard has. It is really efficient in cleaning, don't get me wrong. But the problem is that it's non-washable and it only has a few uses. After which it gets really dirty and it's best to throw it. You can instead just use a brush. So I'll give this a solid 3 out of 10. Let me know what you want me to try out next.